Go. Bravo. Go. Bangers in. We already had good geometry in this room, so we've cleared almost all of it. Look at that. There's a heavy machine gun back there. That's not good. Welcome back to Door Kickers 2 Task Force North, where we've been taking a look at real-world CQB tactics and theory as applied to this game, Door Kickers 2, which is a top-down, action-packed, active, pause, tactical simulation. And this is actually the seventh video in the series. If you haven't had an opportunity to the, see the first six, I invite you to do that now. We're looking at the first mission in the second section of the single-player campaign called Gate Crashers, which is in the second campaign titled Lead the Way. We are U.S. Army Rangers operating somewhere in the Middle East. I don't have a lot of lore or background, but what I do see here is what looks like an MATV that has crashed through the gate of a terrorist compound. I have four assaulters dismounting that MATV, and then I have two at another position over here. The mission here is to clear this area of all enemy combatants. Just looking at the area itself, it does not appear to be what we would describe as a familial compound, meaning I'm expecting a large adult male population, I'm expecting an enemy combatant population. I say that because we don't see dual gender domiciles when we look at the top down bird's eye view. Instead, I see four full or twin size bed. I see a weapon that is exposed. I see a, a working space with another small bed. And there's just no evidence that women or children occupy this space. And because we also don't have the full background story, it's difficult for me to assume whether or not this is a deliberate dynamic breach going hard to what we would describe as the X of this compound, or it was some sort of traffic accident or a react to contact sort of situation. What I do know is that we have slammed through the gate of this compound. I can already see one bad guy here. Our mission is to clear this entire space and do it without taking any casualties and then getting out safely. Let's start to develop the plan to make that happen. First things first, we have these two locations. I'm going to use these two assaulters up here as a battle position that will contain my target compound. I'm going to prioritize the clearance of this building first. And then once I'm complete there, we'll look to transition over to this building. We're going to use these guys as a battle position that will breach this corner and pull long security, preventing guys from moving back and forth across this long axis or maneuvering through this compound to flank our buddies and then we'll simultaneously pull security across on this door to make sure that our security element is completely safe. The more dangerous scenario here are the guys that are getting out of the MATV on the X of this enemy compound. We've gotta make sure we get them into cover and concealment right away. We've already had a large audible signature. We can expect the enemy to be reacting from it. We've got open breaches in the form of windows in this compound to our front and to our left. We've got an enemy that's already exposed here, and I'm gonna assume that there's probably enemy in these buildings and they're all going to be looking for ways to get into this dead space and begin engaging our compound. We have a mixed bag today. We've got a uh, an automatic rifleman and a rifleman up top. We've got two riflemen, a grenadier, and an automatic rifleman back here. Now let's start this plan and, and see if we can make this thing work. First things first, we're going to kill this guy and then immediately establish an attack by fire position here that can suppress down this long axis. We're going to win this gunfight. Once we've won that gunfight, we're going to go internal. Biggest threat is this open breach here in what looks to be, what is that? That's a window, but that's an open window there. So those are our two biggest threats. We're going to prioritize moving straight into this open breach, which looks like a garage. Could be like a homemade explosive manufacturing facility. I do see some like barrels or something there. Yeah, some barrels, some storage and junk right there. So difficult to really know what that exactly is. Okay, this is going to be tough. Let's do it. Okay, first things first, we're going to put a explosive charge on this back gate. We're going to move up and pull security on this door while he's placing that breach on it so that they're safe in the establishment of that breach point. Down here, 
we are going to move to that attack by fire position, make sure this guy is dead and dead fast. Uh, come up here, develop this situation further. I'm kind of curious to see if there's going to be enemy long. And because these two assaulters are already exposed, they're in an open breach, we're going to get a hand grenade into this area and then follow that hand grenade in. We're just gaining rapid initiative and employing violence of action up front. I can't positively identify targets in here, but I've got enough standoff and I want to make sure that any dead space that might be in that area or any enemy that's coming out is uh, is prepared to react. I'm also aware that like there's some homemade explosive in here and if there's any secondaries that are going to go off, I want them to go off before I commit. Super dangerous because if this place is an H-bit, if it's a, a house born IED, there's a lot of risk uh, without me knowing the net explosive weight of whatever charges might be in there, but I don't want to go in if the thing is still rigged. Let's go ahead and see how this goes. Okay, we've got one enemy here that we didn't see. We've got one in here. I'm glad that grenade is going there. This guy is about to die. We're going straight into a, uh, a gunfight. This is going to get real and real fast. I have an additional enemy combatant here. He's going to die right away. I've got one here. I'm also looking down. It looks like I've got an AT4 or a law. Or, oh, it's an RPG. Never mind. It's an RPG 29 looks like and an AK-47. He's going to be grabbing those shortly. All right, we're going to get a grenade deep as fast as possible because we see this guy going for a weapon. We don't know if he's going to die fast enough. We've also got that grenade going out here. This guy's providing cover fire for this guy. If we look up top, we haven't been compromised yet. We're still getting that explosive shot on the door. Grenade's going out. All right, the situation continues to develop. I've got one more enemy deep. I've got a counterattack coming this way. These guys are still putting that explosive charge on the door. This guy is still a barricaded shooter. That frag is right here. We should be having effects shortly. Enemy continue to flow out of this breach. My Ford Assaulter, who's providing cover fire, is going to continue to engage guys as they walk out of this open breach. Super kinetic, real dangerous. Okay, two dead bad guys there. This guy's been killed as well. That grenade's about to go off. Wall shot, excuse me, that door shot is still developing. Grenade goes off. We're going to maintain security here. That grenade is going out now. We're going to get another grenade deep. All right, so that grenade's off. This is generally secure. This wall shot appears to be good now. Yep, it's good. Back these guys up into cross coverage. We're moving him out of the line of fire as fast as we can. Okay, I immediately moved him to cover because it was clear that this guy had an angle on him. The geometry just didn't work to our favor. This grenade's going out deep now. Alright, good effects with that grenade. These guys are both alive. These guys have good security. We're going to go ahead and blow this. That's my saw. Alright, here we go. That's open. That guy's going to pull long. That guy's going to pull cross. Good. Okay. We've got our battle position now established. One enemy combatant there. We've got cross coverage. Our M4 is going to stay pointed right here in case any more bad guys come out of it. This M249 is going to maintain its primary direction of fire down the long axis of this hallway to continue to isolate this structure and anyone in it from this structure and anyone in it. And he's already having good effects. Okay. Man, this is uh, getting dangerous fast. All right, since we've been decisively engaged so much down here, I really wanna prioritize the clearance of this area. I think we've got good security here. I've got this door locked down pretty good. But there's just too many deep targets over here that are that are concerning, frankly. So what we're gonna do? Flashbang here. This guy's got a grenade launcher. We're gonna go ahead and sling around deep. The reason we're doing this, we're flash banging this space to make sure that no one's gonna squirt out of that dead space and begin engaging our M203 40 millimeter grenade launcher. Grenadier. Simultaneously, we're going to put a 40 mic mic round deep to knock out the rest of this dead space. Once an HE round goes off in this area, I'm going to be satisfied that it's safe to continue maneuvering. 
I'm now satisfied that that area is safe. I've got a banger going out <laughs> on top of us. Good news is bangers are non-lethal and not that scary. So no big deal. We're going to pie off the rest of this now. We're going to treat it just like we would any other kind of open danger area. And we'll high-low it so he'll crouch when he gets here. Okay, so we high-load that corner, killed two additional enemy combatants. I'm still reasonably satisfied that we're safe long. Our battle position's still looking good up top. All right, we're going to prioritize sending two assaulters in here. Do either of these guys have a wall charge? Yes, we've got one. Good to go. One more. F uh, we're going to save that flashbang. We've got good security down this long axis, so I know that I'm safe to move all the way across. I've also got good eyes into the garage, and I've got good eyes into this breach point. So looking really, really in a good position now. There could still potentially be someone like sitting in this chair or over here. That's a risk, unfortunately, we are going to have to take. No, we're not. We got lots of ammunition. Now I'm reasonably sure there is no one in that chair or there's a corpse there. All right, here we go. Straight across. We're going to sprint cover to cover through this open danger area, rapidly get a wall shot on this room and go uh, explosive through that wall. Stop crouching. Start running. Start running. Okay, I don't need to watch our back right now because I can see this whole area and uh, I know that no one is going to get out of this building either and be able to affect us. I'm only working one problem right now at a time. That's because if I start taking casualties over there, I still have the ability to flex these guys or flex these guys to come reinforce. As soon as I get in a gunfight in, inside, I'm taking away those options. I can no longer make that decision. So right now I'm gonna solve this problem and then I'm gonna solve this problem. Wall shot is set. Okay, I had an additional squirter come out of here. Fortunately, this battle position is going to have a shot on them. Indeed, they do. Now what we're going to do is A is going to blow that. B. I don't want to risk a banger. Or an ex a, uh, come here, buddy. B is going to do that, and that, and then afterwards we're going to go in, okay, alright, go. 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 bangers in, we already had good geometry in this room, so we've cleared almost all of it. Look at that, there's a heavy machine gun back there. That's not good. So we've cleared almost all of it. I also have good geometry on this guy deep over here. I might even get a shot on him with this assaulter after this banger goes off. Once that banger goes off, I'm gonna lead with this guy since he's already engaged two enemy combatants. He knows where the threats are and where the threats may yet still be. We'll clear this corner first, then transition to the next threat, which is this open breach and this open breach in this dead space. So that banger's about to go off. Clear the fatal funnel. First things first, he'll check deep. He'll immediately check left. As soon as he's done checking left, he'll pull up, hold short here. No reason to go any further. There's the banger. We're gonna pull cross coverage for our guy. Just took out the initial guy. There's one more. We're about to check this left corner. Left corner's clear. And we're looking deep again, good. Still have the rest of the compound locked down. All right, we're feeling pretty good right now. We are going to continue to set conditions. We've taken a ton of contact. We now have a weapons cache in here. Numerous AK-47s, RPK looks like, a couple chest racks, bunch of dead bad guys, heavy machine gun, 
looks like another RPK right there. Um, so in this next space, I've got a little bit of dead space that hasn't been cleared yet. We're not going to prioritize that. We're going to prioritize what I believe is the bigger threat, which is this open breach. And maintain security on it with our lead man. Second man will immediately button hook. Clear this corner. As soon as he's done there, he'll hold short. We don't want to present ourselves to the rest of this area until we're certain we're going to take that corner. Okay. Okay. This guy still has two frags left. We will use a frag in this courtyard. There's one more. He's dead. We're going to put a frag here. Simultaneously, we're going to move up and pull security for our buddy. Frag's out. As soon as that frag goes off, we're going to chase it in. Frag goes off. We'll high-low this corner. Looking good. Okay. Now we are clear and secure here. We have this problem remaining. All right. The way that we're going to accomplish this is we're going to use a four-man fire team to, uh, to continue clearing through this space. So I'm going to come back over, link up with these two guys, and start working our way through, uh, through this myriad of, of problems. I'm going to maintain this battle position because as we begin to clear through this structure, the enemy could start squirting out of these windows and then maneuvering against us unless I have a battle position specifically designed to prevent them from doing that. So now this area is all safe. We'll come all the way back and begin our link up. These freaking controls are still getting me. All right, are you standing? No, you're crouching. All right, there we go. We're good. I just didn't want to run for whatever reason. Okay, now we have two threats that we need to worry about. This room appears to be mostly clear. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that's the case. And indeed, this area is now completely clear. I can see down a lot of this hallway, but it is still a challenge think what let's do so I have an open breach here an open breach here this space is clear I need to clear this room living quarters likely occupied by people I need to clear this room and this room do I have any option options available I kind of want to clear this window <laughs> okay it's been far too kinetic for us to do anything but a wall shot to get into this structure I'm going to go ahead and decide to enter through the barracks building area, which is essentially what it is. And I'm going to do that by placing a wall charge here and creating a corner fed room. Okay, that wall charge is set. We're going to Simo wall shot and put a 320 round in this hallway. These guys have good geometry. Once this wall shot goes off, I kind of want to, yeah, there we go. We're going to pull security with this guy, employ a hand grenade with this guy. We'll call that B. Okay, so on A, we're going to fire a 320. We're also going to blow this wall shot. On B, we're going to employ a hand grenade deep in this room. So A. Alpha, go. Breach is open. 320 round went here. I've got one enemy combatant that appears to have barricaded himself. I've got long security and a hand grenade about to go in. Problem, go. Security guy immediately destroyed that dude. Hand grenade's going out. Hand grenade's out. My next concern now is an enemy counterattack potentially coming this direction or this direction. 
and hitting our guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to creep forward, maintain security on the door, creep forward, maintain security on the door. We're still not going to commit assaulters till we're certain that it's safe. We're going to maintain security, put another hand grenade deep. I am now certain that that barracks is secure, or at least reasonably certain. So, so let's go ahead and treat this like a corner fed room. First man is going to come in. He can't get to his point of domination because of the furniture. No big deal. Second man. Here. All right. That area is now clear and secure. Next threat is here and here. We're going to maintain what we got. Everything's still looking pretty good. Let's, we're going to maintain this position until we get this hallway cleared. We might go Simo here in the last room. All right, collapse the stack, continue moving. We're gonna pie this. Yep. We're pying this long axis, so they only have to worry about the deep fight. Sure enough, it is clear. Okay. These guys... Go ahead and try to pie this thing off too. All right, hallway's clear. Okay, now that I am confident this hallway is clear, I've still got both other exit points covered. I've now got a three-man assault element, a one-man security element locking down this exit point in a battle position that is isolating any, anyone that might be counterattacking into the structure and then preventing by containing the target compound anyone from squirting out. Next task, I'll go ahead and move this guy forward, put security on this door. He's still crouching. Okay. We're going to handle this room first before dealing with the far one. we have left one wall charge a hand grenade we still got their uh, 40 mic mic okay that's how we'll deal with the kitchen okay so now I've got a tactical challenge here I've got to open this door pull security on that door so this guy can get a breach on successfully while doing cross coverage on this deep door Go ahead and kick. And as soon as he kicks, he's going to roll out and goose will pull security. He kicked. Roll out. Let the situation develop. I wish I had a flashbang. I don't. What do you got? Nothing. You guys have flashbangs, but you're out of position. Okay, this is just going to get dangerous. We're going to pull cross coverage here. And we're going to pie with Goose. Room is nearly clear. I've got a little bit of dead space left right there. We'll go ahead and path of least resistance. And I want him focused on that area. Room is clear. Back out. Okay, next room. We're in the hallway. Hallways are dangerous. We want to get out of it as soon as possible and keep everyone that's in it covered for as long as possible. I have this room generally isolated. We're going to clear this final area, which I presume to be among the more dangerous spots in a more unconventional way. I've still got one wall charge. So we're going to place a wall charge there. My wall charge guy is okay 
All right, so we're going to go place a wall charge here. We're going to reposition our 40 mic mic gunner here. We're going to try to get HE in this room before committing any assaulters to it. We're going to transition to a new assault team. It's going to be our battle position here since we only have one space left. I still got security on all the breach points here, 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 where anyone in there could try to escape from. Wall shot is in place. Everyone's in cover and concealment. What we'll do is set this to A. Set that to B. Alpha, go. Bravo, go. We're going to keep hitting this spot. All right, now we've got HE into this building. We're going to maintain security on this space as well. Continue to pull security in for our buddy. There's no reason for us to charge into this room after we've gotten all these gunfights. That's why we have security. All right, what a round. That was incredibly challenging. Really had to pick apart that objective. We did some CQB. We also did some basic fire maneuver and talked about just the fundamentals of the offense, maintaining constant security. Hope you enjoyed this video. There's a lot more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to support my work and check out the rest of my Door Kickers CQB theory videos. It's controlled pairs. I play the most immersive PC games in the world. This is Door Kickers 2, and I'll see you in the next one.